So you've got that great looking sprite sheet, but you need to split up into separate files for each tile or sprite, right? Well, don't worry. It's easier than you might think. Just give me a second and let me show you how. What's up, everybody? Welcome to MyPixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. So let's say you got a sprite sheet, maybe something like this over here. We'll just open it up. All right, it's one big sprite sheet. It's got all the tiles all contained within one file. This is something that uh, you'll see normally on you know whatever website that uh, maybe they got some free sprites for you to download, or maybe you've just made a sprite sheet like this yourself. But sometimes this is not exactly what you want or need, right? In some situations, maybe you want this, right? Here we have a separate file for each tile, right? Um, I can think of at least a couple ways or a couple of reasons why you might want to have your files this way. But whatever the reason, there's a quick and easy way to get you from here to here. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We're going to go ahead and use a pixel art app. It's an online app called Piscal. It's a free to use app that uh, works right within your web browser, right? So here we go, HTTPS, right? www.piscalapp.com, right? Make sure it's uh, P-I-S-K-E-L, right? Not pixel, it's Piscal. But in any case, uh, here we are. This is the home page here. Uh, to get started, all we got to do is create a sprite. It'll open up in a new tab, and then you have this nice little window here. You know, you can you can just start to draw stuff if you want. There, there's a whole bunch of stuff that this online app does. We're not going into that today, but uh, they do offer a quick and easy way for you to split up your sprite sheets. So we're going to do that. To do that, we're going to go ahead over here. There's an import button. And then we got a few options here, but what we want right now is import from picture, PNG, JPEG, whatever it is. So I will browse my images and I will take the uh, that sprite sheet that I just showed you all earlier. We're going to open that up. Okay, now we can choose import as a single image or from sprite sheet. If we import this as a single image, what we're going to get is we're going to be working with the exact same thing that we already have, right? So let me just go ahead and uh, do that just to show you what will happen, right? We just have this whole sprite sheet again, and then we can go and, you know, draw on it. Maybe we're going to make adjustments or something else like that. But that's not what we want to do today. So let's just do this again. Import that file. So instead of import as single image, we want import as sprite sheet. Now for these parameters over here, you see 128 by 128. That's actually the entire size of the sprite sheet. What we're gonna wanna put in here is our cell size or our tile size. So I know that these are 32 pixel by 32 pixel tiles. So we're just gonna enter that here. And then as we enter that, you're gonna see that it's gonna redraw these lines, make it really easy for you to uh, understand what you're getting. If that's what you want to see, then just go ahead and click Next. Um, in this case, we already had something on the screen, so we're just going to tell it we want to replace whatever we've got on the, on the screen. So replace. This will replace your current animation. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. So we'll go OK. OK, and this is what we have here. So what it's done is it's taken that entire sprite sheet, it's broken it up into 32 by 32 pixel cells, and it's created basically an animation out of all those cells, right? You can see it running up here. The fact that it's an, it's an animation doesn't matter, but what the important thing is here is that we see for each animation we have a frame. Right, so we've got 16 frames, so 16 tiles. Now that's great and all, but how are we going to get it out to a file? Well, that's pretty easy too. All we got to do is use the export that they have. So we see export here. We can export as image, as sprite sheet, or as animated GIF. We'll go ahead and click that. So, right, you have multiple options up here. I'll spare you the uh, me just reading through all of these. I'm going to tell you what you need. You need zip. 
right? as we see here, zip archive containing one PNG for each frame. So for each frame, it's going to create us one PNG file. That sounds exa like exactly what we want. So we can prefix this with anything we want just to make something different. Let's just type uh, my sprite underscore. And it's going to go ahead and append numbers to the back of this, this, uh, this prefix for all of our sprites. Then we go ahead and we say download zip. Okay, we're going to save the file. Okay, that's saved. Drop out of this window. Okay, this is not where I need to be. That's the example. Here we go. So in the downloads folder, we see we have the um, zip that we just downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and extract this. Uh, I got 7-zip installed. If for some reason, you don't have 7-zip. Just uh, for you all who aren't familiar, we're just going to do an extract all. should be on Windows 10. This option should be available to you. So just right-click, extract all. By default, it's going to give you a folder and put everything in that folder. Say extract. All right. And there we have it, right? So we put in that prefix, that my underscore sprite. And we can see it started from uh, zero, which is actually the way I prefer it. But uh, so we've got our 16 tiles or 16 sprites in 16 separate files. And there you go. It doesn't get much easier than that, right? Well, I hope you all found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on what's coming up next. Today was just a quick one, but I think we're good. So thanks to everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.